everyone this is Nancy and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be working with some wood products these are boxes from Michaels that I got them on clearance for a dollar they're I think regular two two fifty or something like that and um, we're not going to use the part where the openings are we're going to turn them around and we're going to make uh, sort of an apothecary um, case but we're gonna leave the, the front the center not the front the center empty because I'm gonna do um, a chocolate tour decal in there and this is another one that I made using the Dollar Tree boxes and using this type of um, drawer cl closure it's like a, the library drawers the card catalogs but for this one we're going to be using these little knobs that I got on Amazon. I'll, I'll link it down below if you'd like to get some of these. They're little itty bitty things that you screw in. See? Can you see? They're itty bitty. They're by, I think, where's my ruler? Okay. They're about. The base of it is about half an inch. You see? So first of all, we're gonna take all these drawers out so we can glue them together. And we'll try to put them in the same order because that way they'll fit in the same. The Michaels ones are not as bad as the Dollar Tree ones. These are made a little better with this one so where did I go oh this one goes here this one goes down this way and you do that to all of them we're going to start with four rows at the bottom, four rows on top, I mean, four boxes at the bottom and four boxes on top, and then two in the middle. And then in the back, I got this piece of plywood that my husband caught for the dog, the Michaels boxes is about 14 by 14, but you would measure that according to your boxes, or you can use um, foam board. It's easier to cut, but I wanted it a little more sturdier in the back. So I'm using Loctite Express wood glue. I've been using that. It's, it's almost gone, so it's real good and it holds up really tight. And then you put it next to the box. Try to make it even on top and bottom. The back doesn't matter as, as much because you're going to be covering it. And then I use these Dollar Tree um, clips to hold it together. So just make it even, top and bottom. And you probably need to do a clip in the back here. Okay, these are a little different from the Dollar Tree ones. See? So that'll hold it in place, get all the glue out. Again, make sure that the the top is even. Because the back you're gonna be covering so you won't see all, any of the unevenness. And you do that to all these boxes. I'll be right back. Okay, I have the top row clipped and glued the bottom row it's almost dry still clipped in the back a little bit and then what I did for the two sides I, I did the two drawers separate so then now glue this to the bottom here and clip those and then the top four on the top I'll be right back for those Here is the drawers all glued and clipped. I'm gonna wait for about an hour for it to completely dry so I can go to the next step. 
and these drawers are not all even so you might have some gaps if it, that that doesn't mind, bother you like right here I don't know if you can see it right there you can put some um, wood putty in there and sand it down or if it doesn't bother you you can just leave it and just paint it or stain it so we'll come back when this is nice and dry so we can go on to the next step okay while we're waiting for the the outside of the drawers to get um, dry I'm gonna get the inside of the drawers and where you have the openings that's gonna go on the back so this will be the front of the drawers but depending on what you put inside you want to cover the opening so you don't want anything to fall out so I cut these this is a, scrap, a scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby I just cut them um, the, the, the size of the inside of the drawer like I said Measure the inside of your drawers to make sure, and then do a dry fit. It looked like this on the back, but since it's inside the drawers, you won't see that much. So, just I got my my art little glue here, and just put that all around. I got glue on my fingers, sorry, and just slide it in. You see that? And then whatever you put inside is safe, it won't fall out. Plus it's pretty to look at. On the one that I did before, I have that type of paper inside. You still see the, the, the holes in the back, but since it's inside the, the drawers, you, you won't see that. So. Whatever paper you have, I chose some flowers today. So I'll go ahead and do all 12 drawers with the paper that I cut already. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm coming back to let you know, before you put this back on the, on the box here, you're gonna use this hole back here to screw in the screw for the little doorknob or little drawer knob so what I did I'm going to be doing putting the drawer knob up here a little a little bit and then down here is, is one of these Dollar Tree chalkboards that I'm going to label so I'm going to do a template for this and then like I said you need the opening back here to slide in your your screwdriver I forgot to do that first so I'll have to redo all these little backs and just slide that in and then and continue until you get to the end but before you you put these on um, permanently I would paint the drawers first I just wanted to make sure that that's where I want the other holes to go so you just slow do that and then unscrew this back here. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for that. And then I'll just have to cover this up again to do that. But then you'll make this template and then do it to all the drawers to get the hole in. I'm using my... Um, I'm not sure what size it is. My little Chicago electric power tool. It's like a it's like a, a, a Dremel, and just just put it up and screw, screw it all the way down. I'll be back with every, the next step. Okay, this is pretty much dry. I did put some putty in here, and now I'm gonna sand it down with my Dollar Tree sponge like I said these boxes are not all equal so you play with your layout see which one works better if this one goes here or that one goes there as long as the front is even the back like right here it's a little off and back here is a little off but like I said we're going to put that backing on here so we don't need to worry about that and before we go on I'm gonna put the backing down 
it's a quarter inch piece of plywood and just line it up and where's my pencil uh, I had it over here where'd it go there it is to do our chocolate tool transfer in the middle it'll be easier to do it without this, these drawers in the front so I'm going to trace where I need to paint because you don't need to you don't need to paint the whole board see right here paint in there with whatever color you want so we can put this transfer right here so I'm going to go I think I'm going to do this in black I'm using Waverly chalk paint and ink the drawers the outsides let me go grab it okay a little messy I'm sorry okay for the the actual board background we're going to use the, the Waverly chalk and ink for the drawers I'm going to use let's see I'm going to grab one of these other drawers over here. Do I want it to look like that? Or with the white drawer? I think I'm going to use the Waverly Antique Wax for the drawers itself. So I think that will look cute. And then the outside of the drawers, I'm going to use the Waverly Chalk Paint in white. So these are the, the three that I'll be painting this with today. Right there. So I'm sure you, you don't want to see paint dry. So I'll be back once all this is painted. Okay, I'm back. And um, I did a coat of white uh, black chalk paint on the backing of the drawers. I'm ready to put my transfer from chalk control on there. But in the meantime, this is what the drawers look like. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more. There we go. I need to get some more chalkboards. I only had three. This way you can put with your with the chalk paint marker or something. You can write what's inside the drawers. Or with the with your um Twicket. So what we're gonna do is just this is going to sit like this with that in the middle. So let's move this out of the way. Get the chalk paste. And I already um, mixed it up so it's ready to go for us. We got the little squeegee. If you have any questions on my chalk couture, just send me a message. Um, little Treasures by, not Little Treasures. Oh, your Little Treasures by Nancy on Instagram. Or crafty and tally at gmail.com. I'll have all my information down below. So we're going to do this in white. So it matches the, the drawers. You can do this in any color you want or any, any, any transfer or any picture. You can put a picture back here instead. Put this nice and neat, good and heavy on there. There we go. And then just take the excess off. And take a look to make sure everything's covered. I think we've got it. Now for the reveal. There we go. Put this to the side. We'll clean the jar later. Here we go. Slowly. Okay. 
Oh, it's looking nice. Hold this down. Up. Make it a little bit more on that. Oh, come on. Get there. There you go. The question mark was a little off. Nope. Where is it? There we go. I'll fix it with the with the chalk marker later. There we go. Gonna pause and dry this up so we can add the board to the back of the drawers. One moment. Okay, we're back. This is dried to the touch. So what we're gonna do is take all these drawers back out again. Because when you're gonna turn it to the back, you, you don't want the knobs to be in the in the way. I only painted the outside of the boxes, but if you want to paint the inside of the boxes, that's up to you. I, I believe I did did paint on the inside of the other ones. There you go. So now we're going to turn it upside down. Get this out of the way. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to get the wood glue. And I'm going to use the wood glue and my staple gun to make it more secure. Oh, the glue is dried. One second. Gonna get the edges. I'm running out. Get all the edges real good. All the way around and then towards the center as well. Okay. Make sure that it's facing the right direction. And you put this back here. Okay, all even on both sides, top and bottom. Okay, then we go here. The staples is mainly to keep it down while the glue is drying. In a moment, we'll flip it over and see what it looks like. down here sorry for the noise that feels pretty good 
And for the reveal. There we go. That looks pretty cool. This is my first one like this. Let me put the drawers back. Look at the chalkboard matches the chalkboard in the back. You can make this as big as you want or as small as you want. You can use different hardware. There we go. And you can stand, it's pretty good to stand up on its own on the table. You can put little shash keys in there. Let's see, I have a little. Succulent. You can put on the shelf. Like that. Or nothing at all. And you could put hangers in the back. Whoa. <laughs> to hang on the wall if you need to. But I'm going to cut that out. Upside down. So what will you use these little drawers for? What colors will you paint it? Would you? What quote would you put back there? A picture? Whatever you want. In the end, this measures. I believe it was 14 by 14 so it's not too small it's not too big it's pretty light so I hope you like this if you have any questions comments leave them below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe till next time bye bye